Carl's Jr. because my son and husband left the phone there. Today is January 2nd. It is my son's sixth birthday. And um, pretty much all the videos on YouTube, on my YouTube, are my daughter's. And um, this is the first video of me. Um, today is an okay day. I feel good. I started doing chemo. Um, Carmel, 3,000 milligrams daily, and it's really been really hard for me. Um, I used to do chemo through the vein once a month, and I thought that was better because you get chemo, you're tired that day, and then four days later you have nausea and stuff, but then, you know, after those days you start feeling good again. But now... The chemo is like every day, every day, every day, every day. So I lost like six pounds in one week. I don't even know how. My husband's like super pissed because he doesn't like skinny. Um, and I'm just trying to eat the things that, um, that I crave so that I can eat good and that um, I'm not like nauseous or grossed out. So... Um, yeah, my daughter's been running a fever for since New Year's Eve at church. Um, and today the doctor's was closed. Um, so I hope she's doing better, like super fast. Um, we didn't go to church yesterday because of it. And um, today we're not doing nothing big for my son. The weekend coming, we're going to do him a birthday party at Chuck E. Cheese. <coughs> yes, I got sick. I've had chemo for I don't know how many months, and finally I get sick now. I've had the flu shot, the pneumonia shot, and I still get sick. I get sick when I get the shot, and, and now I'm getting sick again. So uh, don't even take the flu shot because it doesn't even work. Anyways, so... Let me tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm on renal failure. I've been on renal failure since March. I've been on dialysis since March. Um, what do the doctors say? Doctors say, oh, Crystal, oh, Miss Betis, if your kidneys were going to wake up, they would have woken up already. And if they're not, they're not going to wake up and you're going to be on dialysis for the rest of your life. And I was like, no. Oh, you guys are crazy because God told me something else and God has promised me my health, God has promised me my kidneys. So, I mean, you know, the doctors don't have the last word, the Lord does. And I know that soon this will be over and I will be giving my testimony in all the churches and to all the people, you know, all the people that are atheists and all the people that are um, not believers and people that are believers but you know their faith is down or or just you know I don't know what the case is but you know just to let them know that the Lord is real that the Lord is true that the Lord is very much alive and that you know he heals and, and you know he's a he's a he's the Lord that gives and he's the giver so everything that you need he gives and whatever it is I mean you can even ask for materialistic things you know not, not necessarily because you're materialistic, but I mean the necessities, things that we need, you know, you can ask for and He gives. And that's our Lord. Um, as for the people that are sick in this world, you know, don't, don't let yourself go. Don't lose hope for, you know, what's impossible for medication and doctors is never impossible for the Lord. You know, there's sometimes where the Lord's will is to take you, you know, from this ugly world, and, and that's not a bad thing. But, you know, while you're here, the devil tries to make your life miserable and to attack you because it's his job, and he's really good at his job. But, um, you know, you need to have faith, and you need to be, you know, in communion with the Lord, and you need to be, you know, reading his word so that you can, you can know get the strength get the faith uh, that you need to continue on because you know it's not easy 
I was diagnosed with lupus and it's systemic nephritic and you know it's very aggressive um, and you know with lupus it comes a lot of things you know I can um, I can really um, I can really I know that it's not the same thing and stuff but I think that I can really um, what is the word I can think Whatever, let's change the subject. But I think that me and, and cancer patients um, have a lot in common. Just you know, just for the simple fact that we're very sick and we're doing chemo. But um, I'm not gonna say like which sickness is worse. It, you know, it's always a big battle, a big fight that we have to do and we have to be. But as far as everything, you know, it's just. It's, it comes down to the same thing. It comes down to, you know, you have to be a fighter. You have to, you know, not give up. You have to continue, you know, to fight and, and to fight and to fight. But, um, you know, to all the people that have sick people that are sick that know people that are sick, it's very heartbreaking. But, you know, when you get close to the Lord, you know, he takes... He fixes a lot of things. He lets you know why. He lets you know the reason. And um, it's nothing that you did bad, of course. It's just um, it's just things that we need to go through that are going to change us, that are going to mature us, that are going to make us grow, you know, as a person. And that's what it is. And um, I'm here home, so I got to go, and I'll continue to finish this YouTube video. God bless you guys. Bye.